Now to the latest at the southern border. We're hearing reports of Texas officials splitting up migrant families trying to enter the United States. If true, it would fly directly in the face of the state's previous stance that families should stay together. Here to talk about this more is our re in the recent developments at the border is correspondent Jorge Ventura. Jorge, exactly what are you hearing and what do you, are they saying is happening at the border with these families? Uh, hey there, Nick. So this week, it's a pretty big week in news when it comes to the border. First, we'll start with the Federal Appeals Court, which actually gave the Biden administration a huge unexpected win, ruling that the Biden administration can now restrict asylum seekers at the southern border. This decision came down this week from the courts, which would actually block an order from a lower court to block the policy. That policy was placed back in May and is known as an asylum ban. It's known as an asylum ban, which prevents some migrants from applying for humanitarian protection if they enter the country illegally. The policy makes it difficult to be granted asylum unless the migrants first seek protection in a country they're traveling through on their way to the U.S. or apply online. The government had asked for the rule to remain in use while legality of it plays out in larger courts. The Biden administration was concerned about a migrant search at the border following the end of Title 42. Meanwhile, new immigration rules now require all asylum seekers to schedule asylum interviews on the government-run app CBP-1 at U.S. ports of entry. There are around 14, 1,400 interview slots each day, but asylum seekers say that the app has seen many issues, including glitching and when migrants attempt to schedule an appointment. News Nation has spoken to these migrants who have waited several months to get an asylum interview, but have failed to do so because of the amount of migrants logging onto the app every day. In Texas, an attorney with the Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid told ABC News that the Texas Department of Public Safety has arrested several fathers seeking asylum in the United States last month, saying there has resulted in 26 fathers being separated from their families at the border and also that the Texas DPS has been making arrests and charging migrants for trespassing onto private property. In a statement, the Texas DPS spokesperson told ABC News, there have been instances in which Texas DPS has arrested male migrants on state charges who were there with their family with the alleged crime occurred. Children and their mothers were never separated, but instead turned over to U.S. Border Patrol altogether. This report is troubling and should thoroughly be investigated. We can both enforce our laws and treat humans with dignity. That's a spokesperson from the Homeland Security responding to that allegation. And this is all coming at a time where illegal border crossings have jumped 30% in the last month. So far, Border Patrol agents have encountered more than 180,000 migrants in July, seeing a huge jump from the previous month in June. So a huge setback right now for the Biden administration, but they got a huge win in the federal courts, Nick. And it looks like it's still a situation that needs a lot more examination. Jorge Ventura reporting for us live this evening. Jorge, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.